So um, last time during last uh, during la last live stream on Twitch, um, we talked about um, we talked about Himbo Joa being one of the strongest mages and uh, uh, a very aggressive sort of player. And I showed you one of one of his games from his earlier years. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about his opponent in the blood vomiting game. Because everyone knows him as Akaboshi and Tetsu, uh, who just played that blood vomiting game and it seems like he never played any more games in his life. But he did. He was the uh, he was a student at one of the four major uh, go schools in Japan at that time, the Inoue school. And that was that same very school where uh, Genan Inseki, and the same Genan Inseki who played uh, the ear reddening game with Shizaku where he was the, uh, the head teacher. And uh, Akaboshi in, in Tetsu was his best uh, student. Well, I, I, and I, interestingly enough, uh, Akaboshi, his name is written in Japanese, like Aka means uh, red, and Boshi, it's the same as Hoshi, like star. So it's like a red star. Akaboshi means a red star. What a beautiful name. The school of uh, famous game losers. <laughs> Love <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Akaboshi was one of the best students, and everyone thought that he was going to become Meijin sometime soon. He was a. Uh... Hey, Miguel. Welcome. Welcome to Go Magic. Uh, so Akaboshi was uh, uh, very young, and but everyone saw that he was incredibly talented, he was a genius, and uh, he played. Uh, he was quickly rising to the top, and when he was like 20, maybe 22 or 23, he already became 7 done, which at that time was uh, uncommon, because like today, as you know, a lot of the stronger players, they, they study hard from, from the time when they're like 5 years old, and then, then they become professionals at the age of 12 or something. But at that time, being a, a 7 done, because all those promotions were so much slower, and you had to like rise through those ranks and play a lot of tournaments, play, play a lot of other players, and, and those very long drawn matches to be able to get your next promotion from like 1 done to 2 done. And it, it, all those duns were just more serious than they are today. Yeah. Hey. Okay. And uh, so uh, Akaboshi being seven done at such a young age was just something uh, quite surprising. And uh, so that's why everyone believed that he was going to be the next, uh, the next top player of Japan. And uh, probably Joa himself believed that because Joa and Akaboshi, apart from that blood vomiting game that they played when Akaboshi was 25 years old, they played several games actually. When uh, young Akaboshi was growing, Hanima Joe knew him very well. They played several handicap games. And I'm going to show you one of those games today. And this is not going to be just any game. I'm going to show you the first game that they played. The first, uh, like the first live encounter that they had. Uh, and Akaboshi, this was in, in 1827. So uh, Hanima Joe was, was uh, 40 years old, I think. And Akaboshi was like 17. 17 versus 40. Uh, uh, Kaboshi was a little weaker then, and Honiba Joa was not yet Meijin. He would become Meijin later. He was still, I think, a 7 down player. And Akaboshi was maybe 4 down or something like that. I don't even know. So I'm going to ask you some questions during the game. And, um, well, just in case, be prepared. Uh, and just, I, I think that Akaboshi played this game in a very nice style. I'm always, like, when I'm playing a game, especially a handicap game, when somebody gives me a handicap, I'm thinking, wow, how can I play in a very thick and like territory-oriented style so that my player, my, my opponent doesn't really have much chance at, at attacking me? And this is exactly how Akaboshi played in this game. So let's have a look. Yeah, especially compared with Joa, the late bloomer. Yeah, Joa, Joa became uh, very strong very, very late. Joa got to... Actually, I think Joel had just gotten to 7 Dun. If he was 40 years old, uh, he, he, he became 7 Dun at the age of 40, compared to Akaboshi, who was 7 Dun at 25. So let's go to. Uh, wait, let's go to OGS. 
Let me open the game first. Oh, it's already here. Wait. I like it how it says here, like the date of the game, November 29th, 1827. It feels like as if it's just one of those regular OGS games, like this game 2021 played on in, in, in August or something, it's July. And then this one is like 1827, <laughs> it's like 200 years ago. All right, so this is the end of the game. And this is the beginning. Uh, this was the game where the school prepared a special response to Taisha, uh, correct? No, 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 no. That's the, the game you were talking about. That's the famous blood vomiting game. And that's the one that I go into very much detail in the course, uh, in the course on Go Magic. And that's the course that we're releasing very, very soon. Uh, I, I will, re I'm reviewing that game for like three video lessons straight. Yeah. So that's, that, that's the famous game. But this, the game that I'm showing right now is not a very famous game. This is the game that actually nobody probably knows. And this is the first time they played. This is um, eight years before the blood vomiting game. All right, so let's take a look. Um, Hanima Joa is playing white, obviously, and he's giving two stone handicap to young 17-year-old Ak Akaboshi. So here we go. And uh, notice that uh, the computer is not going to agree with all of the all of their moves and all of Black's moves here, not necessarily, but um, it's just, it's interesting because it can, the computer always goes for the, like, for the most sharp, for the sharpest and for the most aggressive and like the, the option that just takes that win rate to the top. But Akaboshi is not doing that, of course. Akaboshi knows that he's playing against a, a much more experienced opponent, so he wants to keep the game simple and thick. And it's just surprising how much he can do once he makes all of the groups Strong. All right, so black approaches, pincer, attach, very simple. A bamboo joint here. White takes the corner. Uh, typically, th th this shape leaves some weaknesses, and typically, I think today we might see something like that, just to not leave any weaknesses, but uh, fine. I think the computer was suggesting that uh, as, as a probe, black should ma maybe cut here because this creates a lot of the weaknesses in, in, uh, in, in white shape. So it's no surprise that once black didn't do that, white protected immediately. Now, white is strong, good. Black makes double pincer. Okay, simple. White lives. Attack, this is Joa, and Joa is a very aggressive player, you remember? He attacks everything he can. Of course, this is a handicap game, so he has to attack. Otherwise, he's going to lose the game. Black gets around it, but of course, black lives in the corner. Okay. And again, this move is uh, a little submissive. You can just tell that there, there probably could have been something better than that. But again, uh, all of those moves, they're just maybe a tiny bit, it's just a tiny bit worse than the best moves offered by Catago or by Leela, but they still like they keep a very they keep the, this whole position very simple and uh, not leaving any weaknesses to 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 for white to attack. A simple connection. Now this creates kind of me eye of uh, cutting here, uh, like cutting at Q Q seven or maybe connecting here at the bottom, and also the corner can live with Q two. Now. White attack, cut, no weaknesses for white, black lives. And uh, here, the computer actually thinks that uh, black doesn't need to add any moves. So the computer says that black at this point should play something like this. Just, just take that corner and uh, the corner is not killable, says Catago. But of course, it seems that if if white now attacks, if white now does something like, uh, I don't know, something like this, and then this, and then takes the stones, yeah, the corner's alive, but ah, white becomes so much thicker. Everything, like all of the white stones are now connected, 
everything is just so strong, and the, this this uh, P, this stone, this P seven stone just lost all of its meaning. It's not it's now not a cutting stone. It's just a stone that was left there and just dies. So it's not surprising that Black that Akaboshi didn't like this variation, even though he probably knew that he was not going to die there. So he makes himself stronger. Okay, white attacks. And this. Um, so actually, uh, we talked about invasions all the time because we just we, we, we have this course on invasions, and I've been thinking about invasions a lot recently. But this invasion in particular is not probably the best because white is uh, maybe white is not strong enough to do this. So um, maybe white can just leave the stones because plain like this doesn't feel very happy for white. So maybe white could just ignore ignore this and not play anything. But this this attachment, the problem is that uh, black has a ladder. White doesn't have a ladder. The ladder doesn't work for white. And so here, oh, how do I? Let me review the game so I don't see these uh, variations offered by EA. OK, let's go quickly to this point again. Yeah, so after this, Atari. And here comes the problem. White extends. Black just takes it. And it would be very nice for white to Atari here, take the stone. And that would be very nice, right? Black gets some points, but white gets thickness. And, white is, and black is all separated. This, this black stone at uh, C. 13, it just gets uh, totally, totally isolated. That'd be nice, except it doesn't work because um, black is just going to escape. The ladder doesn't work. And uh, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing white can do about this. So uh, Joa maybe should have thought about this ladder before he played this. So in, in the game, he really had to be happy with this. Just make himself stronger on the outside, give up the points, and again, And Atari. And at this point, you still feel like white is not really strong enough, right? This whole white group, the shape is not perfect. And uh, you really want to do something about it. And uh, well, Joe would thought that he didn't. And this is very, very typical of him. Uh, whereas any other player might, could have thought that this white group requires an answer. It, it needs an extra move to, to make shape to save it, but Joa is not this kind of guy. He's the kind of player who likes to counterattack. So Joa, instead of adding any move, which Katago seems to be necessary, just sees as necessary, by the way, Katago thinks that White should play something like this right now to just to make sure that the shape is okay and that White can escape happily here without any possible shape complications in the future. But uh, Joa says no. Joa says, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna attack this corner. What are you gonna do, Black? Because black, you know, you are just 17 years old. You don't know how to handle this. And here's my first question to you. This is, uh, um, black needs to, obviously, if, if black doesn't do anything right now, then uh, white will just attack and then save the group in the center. And white is going to be happy. So black needs to somehow split white and, uh, and, and uh, somehow try and attack those white stones. So what should, uh, let's try to make a, can we make a poll right now? Let's, uh, yeah, so which move do you think black should play right now? A, B, or C? The vote begins and I, I, I have time to drink some tea. Yay! Voting. Hey, Buzzsaw. Okay. We've got five votes, six votes. Yeah, I, I thought of uh, making a lot of uh, options, but I thought that maybe the first time we try this vote, of uh, not making it overly complicated, so I, I only left I limited the amount of uh, the amount of uh, variations to three, only three options here. 
<laughs> so it's not, I don't think it's very difficult to figure. So let's, let's just see. All right, so what's the, uh, what's the result right now? Close, the final result is, oh, one more. So B is, uh, oh, B, everyone says B, and uh, Tang Jie just voted for B as well. And indeed, <laughs> no surprise here, B is the best move. Uh, I just put C here just to, just to confuse you guys, because, uh, you know, C is a typical, typical bad shape. We've talked about this, and we've had this in, uh, in Gooplet's game, actually. This, this is the kind of shape that I made in the game, and I felt so awkward about that. Is uh, white will just extend, and later white can, has a possible invasion. So this is a shape you should all avoid at all costs. This is uh, something you will never see in a professional game. And of course, Akaboshi could, could never play this. And uh, A is this kind of classic, um, you know, Japanese textbook move. But again, doesn't really do much. Yes, it separates, but white has total freedom of choice now at the bottom side. White has well, white can tanuki and leave the stone and consider this a good exchange this h3 for uh, the black stone, and then just save the group. This will be fine. And uh, yeah, in the game, black played like this. Attach, and uh, this is like a leaning attack, where we're attaching to the white stone, but we're not attack. We're not, we don't care about that stone. We don't care about attacking it right now. We, we only care about those other white stones in the center, on the left. So white plays Hane, of course, and uh, wait. Oh, black plays this first, a peep, as an exchange. Of course, uh, white doesn't want to connect here. This, this connection would be uh, an ugly shape. White jumps. This peep is like, it's going to just stand there, and this is left for later. Black will move that stone later. But, and now another choice, another choice. Uh, black has a choice of playing A, B, or C. What do you think? How do we, how do we make ourselves strong and thick? So that we could uh, we could get some like thickness and power to attack white. One more vote. By the way, Soviet Blobfish. Why is it? A, why is your name Soviet Blobfish? What does it even mean? Is there such a thing as a Soviet blobfish? Or am I not, am I missing the reference? I feel like as, 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 as someone who was born in a Soviet Union, I, I should know that, <laughs> but I don't. It's a KGB spy. It's a KGB spy who can speak English. He's actually Russian too. All right. I didn't see the letters well. C as well. Oh, C. Okay. Oh, you voted for something else, right? You voted for A. I know C. Okay, okay. All right. So we, we have a, lo a lot of C options here. Uh, so I think C wins, right? Let's close the poll. Yeah, C wins with an overwhelming, like, 66, probably even more percent. But, uh, yeah, C is the kind of move that you see in this sort of case, when you, when you have this sort of attachment, you, like, you attach, extend, attach, extend. And this is the normal scenario we should all follow. But this is a bit of an exceptional case because Black is not trying to just um, do the normal Joseki here. Black is trying to play something special to make white thicker but make himself thicker as well and uh there is a special like strategy that you can all use in um you can do that in, in a regular uh tsukenobi like attach well I'll, I'll show you later after after the game but you can do that in, in joseki as well and you can do that in this shape here so of course again a is only here to confuse you a uh, someone someone vo uh, voted for a but yeah, A will just, you know, white will uh, atar immediately, and then white will probably even, like, well, white can just do this and sacrifice one of the stones, and somehow white gets all of the stones linked. This would be nice. White gets the outside and some 
thickness. It's not really thick, but at least it's nothing's dying. And uh, yeah, this will be a nice shape, but unless, um, you know, for example, we do this, black blocks, and now white doesn't have to add any moves here. White doesn't have to play on the, on, on the bottom here, which means that white can actually uh, add a stone somewhere. I don't know, white could do, for example, something like this, or white could do something like this. So white could add some stones here to the shape to make shape and escape. And so white would get kind of the bottom and make shape in the center as well. So white gets kind of both. To avoid that, in the game, Akaboshi played here. And this is a kind of a, a making yourself and your opponent thick strategy. And uh, typically, like, it doesn't matter what white plays right now, black is going to get thicker. The, the, the very standard response to this is this diagonal move. But again, black, black responds. And this black stone at J3 is kind of like a splinter now. It's just, it's, you have to handle this, this stone somehow. For example, if, if white just does this, black could extend, and then what? If white just kills it, then uh, this is sente, and this is sente, and then uh, after this, it's black's turn. Black got thicker, stronger. Now black can uh, switch to attacking the center group. So black could do something like, I don't know, something like this, for example, and start an attack. If white connects, then this and uh, attack. So yeah, we give up, we give up some territory. We make white thicker, stronger, whatever, but we make ourselves stronger in sente. That's the whole idea for black. So in the game, uh, white played here, <laughs> taking more points. And the problem here is this: black atar is like this, and this seems to be what a ladder. What is this? Well, the ladder actually doesn't work. Right now, white can escape, but there's a catch. Because if white now tries to, white in the game, white didn't escape. In the game, white played here. And this is the best move, uh, according to Katago. But let's see why white doesn't escape. If white escapes, well, the ladder doesn't work, but black can actually play here, and this is sente. Otherwise, well, if you now capture, if, if white does, uh, I don't know, this, Black will cut, and this is too much of a loss. Black now gets all of the right side with those three stones, and as long as, uh, as, long as, the, as, long as the black stones are not going to die, and they won't, then uh, this, is, this is a very, very nice uh, variation for black. So, and if, if we respond, if um, white extends, Black does this, white connects. Now the ladder it doesn't work for white anymore. Now the ladder comes to the, these black stones and the white, the white stones will die. So that's kind of awkward. That's why in the game, of course, Joa doesn't do this. Joa takes a corner. And here he ignores the connection and takes connects here, bumps, tries to connect to the white group, and this again, this is the best move. Black says, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you and I'm gonna just attack something. This, and here according to Katago, white should probably just, just you know, forget about his uh, uh, greed and forget about his uh, uh, amb ambitions and just take that stone. This, taking the stone will mean that the entire white group on the left is not going to be attackable anymore. It's safe. And yes, black can get this move, and probably, I don't think white is going to be alive here, but at least white has sente, and white could think of uh, somehow using, using the Aji of these stones in the future and still continue this game. But in the game, white saves them. Black connects. Now, this is a, um, a, a nice shape looking move. And here, white tries to make shape, but of course this, this stone is not to be captured. Black saves the stone, saves the stone, connects. And uh, 
This is a very interesting looking shape. Again, clearly not the kind of shape that you would expect from Katago to be the best. And Katago does criticize this move. This is like mm, a bit off. But again, it's a very solid, thick looking move, which is, even though it's not probably the best, but it's, uh, there's a reason behind it. For example, the move that uh, Katago suggests is the standard shape of jumping here. And this is kind of sente. White will do this. Black extends. Very nice shape for black. Black is out. White does this. But now white is all safely outside. You see? White is all like out, safe, no Aji. Uh, so potentially black cannot expect to attack this white group anymore. So both are happy, but black loses every possibility of attacking this group in the future. And this is what Akaboshi was probably worried about. He didn't want to, to do this to just uh, help white like this. In a sense, black is helping himself, but black is also helping white to, to make shapes. And this move that Akaboshi played in the game, this one, it doesn't help white at all. It just makes some shape. Black is now solidly alive on the left. Black is solid at the bottom. Black is strong everywhere. And now you will see what this will uh, result in. This game looks so chaotic. Well, I hope it doesn't because I'm, I'm trying to explain what's happening here. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just that uh, black is trying to make himself thick everywhere. And now the black is thick uh, on the right, in the, in the bottom right corner. Black is sort of thick at the bottom. Black is thick on the left. And now there is potential for black to attack everything that a, a, any stones that white can have in the vicinity. White, black can now attack the, the, this uh, bottom left group. And also the white corner, the, the upper left corner of white doesn't look very healthy yet. So black can expect to attack that in the future as well. So let's see. Um, this exchange. And now... Wait, is it now? Oh. This, this, and another poll. One more vote. It is now White's turn. White's turn. What do you think is a shape move for White? In chess, we call the player um, Um No reverse gear Nizhmedinev. Wonder if that would apply to Joa. Well, I, actually, I, I mean, I know Nizhmedinov, but I didn't know that he, he was called Deadlift nickname of a no reverse gear. Probably, I, I haven't been into chess for for a while, so I, I haven't heard a lot from the chess world. But yeah, Joa is, uh, well, you know, Go is not like chess because it is uh, a lot of times players like Tal, for example. Uh, they would uh, just go all in and they would just uh, sacrifice a bishop somewhere and just try to attack after this. And if the attack doesn't work, well, that's it. But uh, the go is a, a lot more, it requires a lot more calculation. So even if you sacrifice something, there's still a long way to play after that. So uh, Joe is still probably um, uh, like a, a more cagey, a more sneaky version of Nezhmedinov. Okay, everyone voted. A lot of votes. Okay, Mars Call just uh, sneaked in his uh, his vote at the last second. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, we have fifty fifty. We have A and B being okay. One more vote for B. <laughs> right after we close it, but okay. Uh, one more vote for B. Perfectly balanced as everything should be. Hmm. Isn't that just sweet? Yeah, so uh, actually, again, I made it up. And uh, um, the um, and this is a very, I think, a very good thing to remember because this is not the kind of shape that you would expect to play automatically. And this is definitely not in my like automatic gear uh, database here. And whenever I, I would see this in the game, I would also, my, my first instinct here was to play A. And that's why I put it here to confuse you guys. Because, yeah, it, it seems so natural to play this move. And yet, this is a bit heavy. Because black can later push here, and then this, and then, you know. Uh, so 
this is terrible so probably black white would have to sacrifice and do this but still uh there are lots of ways there are lots of ways for for black to like play something like this lots of ways for for black to harass white in the future with this shape so it's a little heavy and that's why uh this game hey someone followed welcome welcome so that's why this A shape is, um, it would be nice in a regular scenario, but not when you're trying to make sabaki. Not when you're trying to make a, a flexible, living, escape-like shape. So uh, C is just something random I came up with. It's just entirely random. It just, uh, I, I picked it here because it's, it's close to, um, I, I, I could have picked like 10 gen or something, uh, or, or, or this, and they're all like equally. It, it, it's not even close to the shape, so it, it doesn't do anything. Um, black can still Atari here. And uh, the shape that well, we should all remember and the shape that the computer seems to recommend in this sort of situation is this one, yeah, B. Uh, and uh, yeah, this, this, the idea behind it is that it's, it, even if black Atari is here, which seems totally normal, then white makes the bamboo joint here, take, and you're still fine. White still has a good shape, no cut, Everything's fine, and uh, you know, you're, there's always an escape route here, always an escape route for white. So white is all connected, all fine, and uh, not getting under any attack here. So that's the sort of shape that uh, is probably uh, the the flexible shape for sabaki in this sort of in this sort of situation. But uh, believe it or not, uh, this is the the poll that we did. It's uh, None of those options were actually played in the game. For some reason, uh, which is unknown to me, in the game, uh, Joa played this, which is actually Gote, and I don't understand how he could have done this. I mean, maybe he's trying to... Uh, well, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of followers. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everyone. So this, the problem with this move is that uh, Black blocks, of course. White does this, Atari, white has no shape, white has no eyes, and it's black's turn. Black doesn't need to respond in the corner, so black will play in the center. White could have played in the center and made shape, but now it's white, black's turn, and black gets to attack first. And this is exactly where black plays right now, except uh, black could have played something like this, of course. Black could have atari but black picked an equally nice uh, attacking shape here, this. Just trying to get closer to white. Now, that's the move. White connects. And that's the point. You see, black is so thick. Black is so thick everywhere. Like, uh, group A is thick for, white, for black. Group B is thick. Group C is not yet very strong, but white has no time to even think about invading there on the top. Because right now, the, the, the whole problem is here, right here in the center. And when black has strength everywhere, black can allow himself to finally be very bold and stop being so modest and, you know, play so defensively and then just make solid shapes everywhere. Now, this is time to go berserk. Black goes berserk and just black just does this. Oh, wait. Black does this. Attachment, white hanes, and cut. And yeah, this is the best moves according to Katago. And now, what is white gonna do? There's almost like no escape out of this. Black is strong, so Atari, Atari. White tries to make shape, Atari. Black connects, and Atari. It seems like there's a lot of cuts, but you know, black is so strong that none of those cuts actually work. And now this, black probably doesn't have to do this. Black could just block from the outside like this, and uh, this will be fine. But black goes for some extra defense because this move is actually, it's not even attacking. This is a cut, and when white does this, it kind of forces black to do this, and now black is, black's shape is fixed. And when white does this, black ignores and takes. And now the whole problem here is that uh, this Y group, as you can see, this A group, 
this huge blob of a group is uh, the Soviet blob of a group is now locked in. It's all sealed in, it's all surrounded, and white needs to figure out a way how to live here. Can white live here? Well, in the game, white played a very nice move, which is uh, Katago thinks that this is the only chance that white has, and I didn't put any variations here, I didn't put any options, so I'm just asking you, what would you, what, where is that shape move which would uh, create some hope for white? White is still losing this game badly. Is uh, white actually never got any chance according to Katago? Because uh, with two stones, black started with uh, uh, like a twenty point lead, with and and black never lost that lead. So it's still pretty much the same lead, maybe even bigger. Maybe C two was about getting two codes with F one. Okay, B eleven. Even if white does live, that's a beautiful wall. Yeah, exactly. Even if white manages to live, make two eyes there, black is still... I think black is going to be okay with getting that wall in the center. That's already good enough. Black is not going to be crying over, you know, over white making two eyes on the left. Surely. B11? Wait. B11, B11. Wait, how do I, how do I make a move? All right, actually, I can... I can Place your suggestions on, on the board first. So B11 is the dome here, okay? How did you develop such good English? Well, I just kept developing it. <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, uh, I just love languages and uh, that's part of my job. I'm a linguist. So I, um, I just love learning languages. I mean, Go is just one of those things, but uh, l languages actually come first. <laughs> That's why, like, uh, one of the first incentives for me of moving to a different country is, like, the ability to learn a new language. Like, right now, we are living in Georgia, and uh, I am learning Georgian. And I'll tell you about that some other day, maybe when we have a, a stream more dedicated to, like, Georgia and uh, Georgian stuff. I will tell you about the language a little bit because it's a very unique and uh, it's, a, it's a language which is like, it doesn't fit into any category. It's just a, it probably belongs to a category uh, all of its own. <laughs> Go is a language. Yeah, Go is a, as, as they say uh, in Chinese, they say Shoutan, like, uh, or in Japanese, they call this Shudan, like uh, the hand talk, a conversation with hands. Yeah, true. The language of stones. Yeah, and someone asked me, uh, the, la the previous stream, someone asked me about like how to say a flow of stones, and I never found that. I, I, I was sure that there was a Japanese term for like the f uh, flow of stones on the board, and I, I, I was sure that I, I, I had seen this somewhere, but I couldn't find it. If someone knows the term, the Japanese term for like the flow of stones, this kind of the flow, the natural flow of stones uh, in the game, then I'd love to, uh, I'd love to know that. Oh yeah, Georgian is a language isolate, isolate, not part of Indo-European. Yeah, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. So, any suggestions except for? Um... Oh wait, why is? Oh, because A, I put A here, so B. Hangma in Korean. Oh, there's Hangma. Uh, Hangma in Korean. Yeah, but uh, F one. Okay. Brazil plays Go. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't understand your LOL actually. Brazil plays Go because F one is actually the, the the one move that is the only move, the only hope for for white. Let me let me tell you about it. Like, do you, do you guys see the point of this move? This F one. I think someone mentioned before, right? Someone uh, was it the Soviet blobfish? Soviet blob mentioned the. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vadim, I don't understand the question. Can you repeat, please? Um, well, the question was about which move for white, uh, which move should white play to hope to save something? And this is this move here at F1. Uh, and the point of this move is, uh, it was actually me. No, I thought it was, it was someone else, right? 
Someone mentioned it. Yeah. Oh, it was you. It was you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a very nice move to make a code. Exactly. So if the point is that uh, even if, if black connects here, white gets a code. And uh, if white wins the code, then uh, white lives, right? And if, if black connects here, then white can push this, this, and this is a co. So this is like the double-sided co, and uh, there's, no, there's no way for, for black to avoid this. And so that's why black didn't even try to. Black doesn't care about this, right? Black doesn't care about winning or you know, killing that group. Who cares about that group? Yeah, so black just, just escapes here and says, okay, forget about that. You want to live in the corner? Go, go, live there. I don't care. I'm just going to destroy everything. And uh, this, this, and again, ignore, black extends. And at this point, Joa resigned because it's just, it's becoming just so, so terribly bad here. Look, this upper left corner, it's not even like, it's not even 100% safe. Because uh, later, if let's say white does anything here, black can jump in and this corner doesn't feel that it's like 100% safe there. White can probably live with two points, but that's not a happy kind of living. Also, white is not still alive here. So let's say, let's imagine now that after this move, Joa does not resign. Let's say Joa just continues to fight and uh, let's say he starts the, this co, which is a pretty big co, right? If, if white manages to kill uh, these stones, then white gets, not only does white live, but white gets the entire corner with all of those black stones inside. Pretty good, you would think. But then the problem here is that black has some very nice co threats. So for example, um, black could play, let's say, um, black could play this one as a co-threat. And then this. And let's say, okay, let's let's find some co-threats for white. White maybe has something like this, right? This is a co-threat. And this is also a co-threat. White needs to capture. Uh, this. And white gets something like that as well. And we capture, and let's just say that at some point, at some point, um, I don't know, black does something here, for example, and white just captures. But the, the problem here is that later, after this Atari, there is even Aji with these two stones. These two stones, uh, which seem to be like left for dead, but black can actually do something with them. And black, black can, even though they're dead, but black has this move, which is really cool. And after white captures, this move. And now all of the white stones on the right seem cut off. So it's just, you know, this is a hopeless fight. Even if white manages to, to kill that corner, it doesn't matter. Because black has just so many places where he can attack because of this tremendous thickness. And that's the real problem. And that's why Joe resigned, feeling that there's no, there's no hope. There's no hope because there's so many, just so, too much trouble, too many problems to solve makes a picnic co. I don't understand why black didn't start with e4 before tenuking. Uh, e4, wait, e4. Uh, e4, oh, you mean, well, probably because, I don't know, maybe because black didn't care. Because it doesn't matter to him, uh, is it gonna be like those five stones or this? Maybe this was a possible exchange because, uh, right, where was that? It was here, right? Oh, before, before that, before that, before here, black could have done this, right? And yeah, this would, this would have forced white to, to live small. Probably, probably this, this would have been better. Yeah, maybe, but again, uh, this kind of leaves some weaknesses at the bottom and in the game having forgotten about this bottom side black Strengthened the, the upper side as well. So black became strong everywhere And that is what I like about this game. It's how 
marvelously with only two stones of handicap. A young Akaboshi managed to just just make such a thick game that he left Honimbo Joa absolutely no chance at all. No fighting, nothing. And it's it's just not even very difficult when 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 you're so strong. The the things that he played uh, at the at the last stage of the game, they're not they're they're not so crazy complicated. It's, it's not like you're watching a, a Shinjin So or a Koji game where everything just goes bananas from the from the very beginning. But this is like yeah, you could definitely read that 